Oh, that's right. We're in the smoking room today, people. This is my sacred spot in all of my house. Let me turn on my little light and give people a chance to join it. Every time I do a pop-up live stream, oh, people usually hop in. So I got the crazy hair going on. I'm in the chain smoking room. This is um, a room attached to the back side of my house so I can smoke in it and um, everything's sealed off. <laughs> hey, Scorster. Nothing. I've got the crazy hair going on. Let's see if I can... Hmm, if that helped at all. Oh, look at that. You can see me. <laughs> I'm in my pajamas. I've had a long motherfucking day and um, figured I would take some of it out on you guys as I share some stories. As you see, Scorched Earth, uh, I named... Uh, I named the uh, stream Dogs of Titanium Teeth. Hey, Emma, good to see you. I know I'm pretty crazy today. I'm finally done with that house, so I get to relax from that. What's up, beanie girl? It's been a long fucking week, but I realized suddenly it's Wednesday. I have to do a live stream. Um, so I've got shitty little plastic fluffy. <sighs> Let's do this shit. I'm fucking... I'm way out of it. I wait all day today and miss work for the fucking gas people and they don't show up. Yeah, it's hump day. I'm stressed out. So like I said, I'm in the smoking room with the door open, hanging out. This is where I generally sit and smoke my life away. Got lots of coconut oil in my hair for static. It wed nest day. Say it like it's spelled. He said this to me the other day. Mm. So we're going to cover some... Stories that were sent to me by Christian Bale, T-Dog, as usual, Vox. And um, Vox actually sent me the story that is the title, Dogs with Titanium Teeth. And for those of you that haven't heard about this, it's interesting shit. What the funk says is anti-dog pro-nature. I believe so. I do. Hey, Real X Star, good to see you. So I'm going to go ahead and hop into this. Once again, I've let my emails build up. A lot of people watch these live streams once they've been made, so let's stop fucking around and get into it. I've only got about, see my fake watch? About an hour and a half to do this before I ain't got time to do this. So let's get our shit together here. Shaking it off. All right. I'm feeling good. A little bit of rest. A couple things happened around here that I don't know if I'm ready to share yet. I'm working on the delivery, so we'll deal with that later. So, hello, tall three or four of you. <laughs> hey, Billy Bob's got the day off and you're here. I have also, I have a story from Billy Bob as well, to be honest. So, let's jump into this shit. Let's start with, shit, let's start with going to get my fucking computer charger, shall we? You guys are going to have to hold on a second. I forgot that bitch. Take me two seconds. So my son hates it when I hang out in my smoking room because he knows he's not allowed out here for obvious reasons. This is my sanctuary and it's where I smoke. He can't be in here. So I've got this bitch plugged in. Did you guys behave while I was going <laughs> to say hell no? <laughs> all right. Hey, we'll get to be all topsy turvy. Let's see what this looks like. We're sideways. You know, there's a song about that. Your whole day has been like that. Mine too. Why do we seem to um, fall on the same days, Scorched Earth? You and I seem to have a lot of similar days. Um, hey, Ban All Dogs, good to see you. Ban All Dogs, I had to go to the dentist today. So I'm sure he's feeling his best. Let's get into, let's see, I don't want to start out with the main topic because I like to give people a chance to hop in. EL says, yuck, my new neighbors have two dogs and one is a pit bull. We really do, Scorched Earth. It is spooky. You know, EL, um, I have an old lady neighbor. See, I like to start these out with personal stories to give people a chance to hop in. I have a very old neighbor across the street. And uh, if you guys have watched Four-Legged Plagues, The Tear of Dog Ownership, 
I'm going to borrow that as he has given us all permission. She is uh, the lower tier of dog nuts. And by that, I mean, you know, she tries to shut the things up. She tries to keep them. She doesn't let them out, run around the yard. What's up, Twiki? Good to see you. Uh, but she got a pit bull. And I couldn't immediately, I'm like, man, this is a bad idea. You know, something bad is going to happen to this lady. This motherfucker will not shut up. It is the most annoying fucking dog I have ever had the mispleasure, displeasure, displeasure of meeting. So let's jump into this shit, shall we? Real glad to see y'all. You guys get to see me in uh, panic smoking mode in my smoking room. So let's start out with a different story. Here's one from dogsbite.org that I looked up that I actually heard about on the They Will Kill You YouTube channel. And it um, definitely piqued my curiosity. And I found an article from dogsbite.org on the story, which is always great. Those guys keep it real. This is as of November 4th of 2019. A woman of 49 years old dies after being mauled by her two rescued Great Danes. Okay, this is in Warren County, Ohio. There was an update as of 11.07, so we're just going to start there. Um, they, so two separate sources say that the female black Great Dane named, what do you guys want to call this big piece of shit? Big piece of shit was not involved in the attack that killed Mary Matthews. Oh, in January, the owner, Caitlin, rehomed the dog to Matthews. Six days later, the owner had to pick that dog back up, Okay. And after learning of Matthew's death, the owner wrote, when I got her back, she was kept inside in winter, was freezing, and severely underweight. So you see how they're already trying to cover for why the dog ended up attacking someone. <sighs> Save piece of shit, the Great Dane Rescue, also contacted us, and they confirmed that they adopted the fawn male Great Dane. Okay? And they also give it a fucking name. We'll call it fawn piece of shit. Uh, she got him January 6th, adopted him January 16th, and they stated in an email to us Wednesday that the February 25th post was a courtesy post for Caitlin's owner. The post was not designated as a courtesy post on November 4th when we made six copies of it. Caitlin was never part of this rescue. See, that's, that's all they can focus on. They haven't even talked about the woman dying yet. All they can focus on, even in Dog's Bite, and Dog's Bite is keeping it real, but they're saying this is, you know, the family speaking out about the dogs leading on into the story. Okay. Oh, geez. So numerous media reports state that the black great Dane was vicious and had bitten people in the past, including Matthews's husband. These referrals of the black Dane all stem back to the police incident report, which states that Dale Matthews husband advised the black dog is vicious and had reportedly bit several people, including himself that evidence of prior bite marks on his right forearm. Late Wednesday, as we were writing this update, the mystery of the Black Great Dane had been solved. The news station aired a segment of Matthew's two adult children providing photographs of the dogs that should satif satisfy those who continue to believe that the black dog was mislabeled as a pit bull or cane corso mix. Once again, who fucking cares? And when are they going to talk about this woman who died, right? They finally recall that there were multiple bites inflicted by Matthew's collection of rescued Great Danes over time. The only documented bite occurred in 20, 2018. Hear that dog? This is the one I was talking about. It never shuts up. Oh, I got to get some good life around here. Be self-evident to all. Uh, uh, oh, it should be. You know, hear how they, they're going right into this. Self-evident to the readers that Matthews was a chronic alcoholic. So now back to the victim blaming. Okay. Not that you should be a chronic alcoholic, but it's no excuse to get killed by dogs. Finally recall, uh, as they go into the bites at a succession of unstable rescue, great Danes in their home, they could not manage or properly take care of. And after her mauling death, her husband, Dale told media outlets, I wanted to get rid of him, but she wouldn't. <laughs> they found her dead in her home Friday after being attacked by her two dogs Police had originally been dispatched to the home on a report of a possible overdose. But Mary Matthews, 49 years old, was found lying in the bathroom floor unresponsive. Her husband, Dale Matthews, and his son discovered her body earlier that day. Dale had been released from the Warren County Jail, so he was in jail while this happened. The attack occurred in the couple's home. Uh, Matthews was found covered in blood and deceased when the police arrived. Police found blood stains in many of the rooms 
A pair of torn up bloodstained sweatpants were located in the front room on the living room couch. The couch also had blood and dog fur all over it. Police found a chunk of flesh on the couch. Numerous beer cans and medication bottles had littered the home. A baseball bat that was heavily bloodstained in the front and back was also found near the living room couch with a bloody towel lying next to it. On the back deck, police discovered two Great Danes. One was black and the other tan. The police reported the deck was so covered in feces and the floor of the deck was not even visible. Dale told police the Great Dane was vicious and had bitten several people previously, including him. Though Matthews was eventually able to get the dogs outside due to her history, along with the evidence that Matthews had changed clothes several times and had used the towels to mop up her own blood or to stop her bleeding, she may not have been clear-minded enough to understand how badly injured she was. Or as usual, she's protecting the dog, even as she's dying. Okay? They had rescued the Great Danes two years ago. Prior to this, they had owned a pit bull mastiff. That's these people. The husband wanted to get rid of the dog, but she wouldn't allow him to. He went to jail under a warrant regarding failure to appeal for child support. Okay. Bam, he gets out and finds her dead. I, this goes on and on, like I said, but I like to skip through to the more important parts. What's up, Strawberry Lemonade? Ugh. Trying to stay calm because of the barking? Yeah, trust me, I know. Oh, hey, Rational Cleanliness. Oh, you guys both have uh, the little purple R's and S's, so it's all confusing for me. Hey, 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 hey. Beautiful names for something as worthless as dogs. Yeah, I gotta come up with something better than big piece of shit, though. I've gotta, I need to put more thought into that. I keep thinking about it, and then I don't do it. Any perceived weakness dog lovers find in you, they will use to attack you for. Strawberry lemonade is very right. And I don't expect for us to get a big old crowd today. This will be mostly for other people to look into yesterday. Let's do one more story before we get into this titanium fang thing, which I did some researching about today. Yeah, nasty Danes. Uh, oh, I'd call them rape Danes, but I'm sorry I changed my avatar, but it updates on my account page, but not in here. It's all good. No, I'm just saying it confused me. I looked and I'm like, look at all these little purple circles. <laughs> You're making jalapeno poppers. Shit, you didn't invite me over. I made really quick dinner because, once again, my gas service hasn't been dealt with. I'm not going to sit here and bitch about that. Just going to keep it to myself. I found this story as well earlier and looked it up and was like, oh, fucking K. Soccer star who killed his girlfriend and fed the body to his dogs. Rio de Janeiro. And this was as of, I don't see, oh, the date was March 14th, 2017. Like I said, both older stories, but I felt worth mentioning. A Brazilian soccer club on Tuesday presented its newest member, a goalie convicted in the killing of an ex-girlfriend in which he fed her corpse to his dogs. The signing has prompted outrage in Brazil and promises by sponsors to drop out. BOS Portes contract for Bruno Fernandes de Souza ignored mounting criticism in recent days after the team expressed plans to sign the former star player. Souza was convicted by a lower court in 2013 after a trial and police reports that included horrific accounts of how Samudio died. She was strangled, then her body was cut up, and he fed the pieces to his dogs. I believe they were Rottweilers. I read several of these articles. The model went missing after she had sued the goalie for child support in a public dispute that damaged Sousa's image at the height of his fame. This was his mistress, basically, and they, he had gotten her pregnant. She sued for child support, and he chopped her up and fed her to the dogs. Sousa, who was married, denied that the child was his. DNA tests later proved that he was the father. You are the father. I had a Mori moment. Ultimately, Sousa, two men, and an ex-girlfriend of Sousa were convicted in the killing. Sousa was recently released from prison while he appeals a 22-year sentence in the 2010 killing of his former girlfriend, Eliza Samudio. So, you know, you have a bunch of money and you're a celebrity. You can kill people. It's okay. Feed them to your dogs. No big deal. I'm sure the dog's got another home, too. If I did any of this shit, y'all would never see me again. A Supreme Court justice ordered his release on the grounds that his appeal to a higher court was languishing. In a news conference transmitted by ESPN Brazil Tuesday, Sousa said he was thankful for the opportunity and been preparing himself for years to return to play. That's all anybody cares about. People run from me because of what happened in the past, said Sousa, wearing a team shirt. BOA is opening the doors for me. I'm very happy 
very motivated. Well, buddy, we know what happens when you get motivated. At least five sponsors have said they'll drop the team in protest. The city of Varguina, about 250 miles northwest of Rio de Janeiro, said it was looking into whether it was legally possible to break with the team, which uses its facilities. In a Facebook post, club president Rone Mores de Costa was defend, defended the decision, saying all laws had been followed and the second division club was doing its part to help a man recover, who has never heard it said that work dignifies a man, he wrote. Oh, he's busting out the poetry. Many Brazilians, from Esporte fans to women's groups, strongly disagreed and thousands of angry comments were posted on the team's Facebook page. I will cheer on BOA Esporte if the team plays terribly in every game wrote Rodrigo. Um, a team that hires a killer doesn't deserve anybody's respect. Sousa, 32, previously starred for Rio de Janeiro-based Flamengo. The case underscores two deep problems in Latin America's most popular nation, endemic violence toward women's, women and a notoriously slow judicial system. Okay, He had appealed his conviction to a higher court, and after more than four years, Supreme Court Justice Marco Arreo Mayo recently ordered Sousa's release, arguing the lack of a decision on the appeal couldn't justify indefinite detention. So there you go. You know, just uh, got to be a, I need to be a soccer player. I should have been a soccer player. Um, well, I should have been a soccer player. Hey, Jade, good to see you. We're all happy to see you. Hey, Asher, good to see you too. Dogfather, band, Snoop Dogg, Crotchweiler. Yes, yes. Yes, Crotchweiler. I love it. Oh, that's great. Someone I used to know went away for the weekend and left a guy looking after his house and dog. He died of a drug overdose, and when he got back, the dog had eaten him partially. E. Oh, thanks, Asher. I don't. I have oil in my hair, and I'm wearing my pajamas, and I'm hairy, and I'm broken out. But, um, you know, I'm here. I'm doing it. Paying the fucking bills. Let's get into... Uh, did he keep the dog? That is a good question, Twiggy. He says, I don't know. Man, whew, lousy Dane. That's not bad. No, I think we can do better, too. I just have to try harder. Let's get into this bullshit about titanium fangs on dogs. So did you guys know this was a thing? <clears throat> I had heard of this once or twice, and when I got into reading about it, apparently... Um, this is more something they do when the dog has broken one of its canines, okay? But it's commonly done with prison dogs and military dogs, Navy SEAL dogs, and um, taxpayer money goes to pay for this. So I can't get one tooth fixed that I have a problem with, right? But, uh, you know, tax money will go to pay for these dogs to have titanium teeth, so let's talk about this shit. This was updated as of November 12th of 2020. Titanium fangs, the technology behind Navy SEAL dogs. As you may have heard, the Navy SEAL raid that took out Osama bin Laden included a four-legged soldier, aptly described as the nation's most courageous dog. The dog doesn't know that. He's just doing his job to get his food, you fucking idiots. Such a revelation has sparked tremendous interest in the use of war dogs, which, while also shedding light on the technology these canines use to assist SEAL teams on missions. Dogs for this line of work, the military uses Labrador Retrievers, because they're aggressive, Belgian Malinois, and German Shepherds. Requires a significant investment. 50 grand estimated. $50,000. So it's in the best interest of the owners to equip their canine comrades with the best in safety and high-tech surveillance. Below is a short list of the most common tools used to turn man's best friend, and to a modern peacekeeping assault soldier. What a sentence. Training, training, training. Military dogs are enrolled in a 60 to 90 day training program. That's really not that long. We're talking a few months in which they learn how to detect explosives and drugs. Some can even sniff out the enemy from up to two miles away. Dogs are also taught how to defend their handlers in the event of attack. Titanium teeth. The most important thing to note on this topic is that the Navy SEALs and other enforcement agencies are not just ripping out a dog's teeth for the sake of creating a terrifying looking war machine. There was a general misconception on the web that titanium teeth were preferable to the real thing. 
But as Wired points out, one of the articles, they're more of a backup solution when injury strikes. War dogs, police dogs, etc. are all trained to bite. We know. Many times those bites can lead to broken teeth. Replacing injured teeth with titanium at a cost between $600 to $2,000 per tooth per tooth is one way to help a dog continue its service. Generally, the canine teeth, the four longest and most noticeable, are the most commonly replaced teeth because they allow the animal to grip and tear through material, including body armor. I like how they don't throw in flesh without injury to itself. However, as one canine training specialist pointed out to Wired, titanium fangs are not as stable as regular teeth and are much more likely to come out during a biting. In terms of visuals, however, many agree that the false fangs enhance an oh my god fear factor. And we'll just talk about a couple of the other things they waste everybody's fucking money on real quick before we get back into the titanium teeth. Dogs have body armor. Nobody wants Chomper getting stabbed or shot in the line of duty. The adjustable lightweight suit protect their vital organs. And they come in an array of models depending on the dog's line of duty. Assault vests, uh, ballistic protection, colors to choose from. Last year, the Navy SEALs purchased four waterproof canine tactical assault suits from Canadian firm Canine Storm for reported $86,000. The company makes $5 million a year selling custom armor for dogs. In the U.S., Army, Navy, Marines, and Special Forces, police departments in 13 countries, and security firms worldwide. In conjunction with the tactical armor, military dogs also commonly now carry infrared night vision wireless cameras to relay visuals from as far as a thousand yards away. <sighs> there are currently some 600 military dogs serving in Iraq and Afghanistan, a number that's expected to increase substantially. Okay. Uh, the capability they bring to the fight cannot be replicated by man or machine. Oh boy. So that's just a couple of the things they waste our money on. Money, 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 money. Let's get into this other part of the article. So this is the other part of this titanium teeth thing. Okay. It's an article from the Herald Sun. Oh, they're going to tell me that the article is not here now. You pieces of shit. Hey, um, Scorched Earth, if you can find that article you sent me earlier that actually exists, please put it in the comments because it's miraculously been taken down since 25 minutes ago when I looked at it. Okay. Uh, hey, J Red. Hey, hey, is there room for one more taco up in here? Hey, tacos. Good to see everybody. Oh, God, I'll tell you the money they blow on these things. I can't. So, yeah, let me, I'm setting some flags on some of this crap because I haven't had a chance to do anything. And let's get into this bullshit right here that several of you have sent me, and it's fucking mind-numbing. Um, Google's also been throwing it up in my search bar every time I try to look up anything. Uh, dog owners face jail and a hefty $20,000 fine for putting pets on a vegetarian diet. Now, Z Oliver sent me this out of many of you. And the big point she and I were covering that she started covering that I obviously chimed in on. You know, nobody's punishing people for taking their children to McDonald's too much. I can poison my son with all kinds of bullshit food and feed him nonstop junk food. And no one will say anything about that. He could weigh a hundred pounds next year and be suffering from diabetes and that's okay. But it, but God forbid I get a dog and start feeding him a vegetarian diet. I'm going to face some hefty fines. Humans have become increasingly more selective with their diets, often driven by the desire to reduce their carbon footprint and avoiding animal products. But forcing our pets to do the same could have disastrous consequences. Just someone just kill me now. Dog owners have put, oh my God. Uh, humans have, oh my God. Our dogs are almost entirely reliant on their owners for their nutrition. So are children. And owners who force their dog to go on a meat-free diet could be falling foul of animal welfare laws. According to the Animal Welfare Act of 2006, you're required to feed your dog a suitable diet, which means you could be prosecuted should it be ruled that the diet you choose doesn't fit that description. I just, if we would just take a, an eighth of the energy we spend worrying about these fucking dogs and put it on our children, please. The Blue Cross 
Jesus Christ, outlines, outlines all the pieces of legislation that apply to dog owners in Britain and shows that all pet owners have a legal duty to provide for their welfare needs. Under Section 9 of the Act, all, domesticate, all domestic animals have the legal right to live in a suitable environment, eat a suitable diet, exhibit normal behavior patterns, and be housed with or apart from other animals. Be protected from pain, suffering, injury, and disease. Oh my God. The advice on a suitable diet for dogs doesn't include any mention of vegan or vegetarian diets, but does mention that any diet from wet food or raw food to dry kibble should meet all of your dog's nutritional needs. Speaking out about the issue, in 2020, Daniel, Daniela Dos Santos, the president of the British Veterinarian Association, said, in the UK, under the Animal Welfare Act, the owner has the obligation to feed the animal an appropriate diet. If your personal <clears throat> belief system means you don't want to eat any animal protein, that's fine. But that diet is not designed to meet the welfare standards of your pet. She added, it is theoretically possible to feed a dog a vegetarian diet, but it's much easier to get it wrong than to get it right. You would have to do it under supervision of a veterinarian trained nutritionist. Money, money, money. Money, 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 money. Fuck Fluffy. Fuck, 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 fuck. If I keep reading shit about stuff like this, and by the way, someone sent me another marrying your dog article, Christian, because he wants to watch me lose my fucking mind. That's what this is all about. Watch me lose. That's the new name of my channel. Come watch me lose my fucking mind. Okay. Oh, God. Okay, let's do this one. Like I said, I don't have a lot of time tonight. Hey, Isabel, good to see you. Oh, we got the taco stand. Oh, boy. Okay. October 20th, 2021, dog bought on Facebook, kills woman's brother, attacks husband on day of the funeral. Christ on a crutch. A UK-based woman is grieving after a pet dog brought tragedy to her family as its bites first killed her brother and then caused her husband to lose his legs. According to Wales Online, Barry Harris, 46 years old, bought the dog from a private Facebook, Facebook seller in London this past May. He reportedly paid $1,500 for it, just over $2,000 USD for the 15-month-old Akita named Oversized Murder Oreo. It was not the severity of Ted's bites, however, that caused the injuries. Rather, it was the bacteria inside of the dog's mouth. You know, capnocytophaga. They don't say that. I'm saying it. Which was introduced to the victim's system via his relatively mild bites that led to the deadly infections. Because it's so rare. If a dog bite, if a dog bite pierces a person's skin, bacteria from the animal's mouth can get into the body. All right. If bacteria stay in the body, they can cause an infection such as tetanus, rabies, or sepsis. These things, just wonderful creatures. We've got to have them around, don't we? The publication noted that in some cases, these infections can spread from the bite site to other body parts, and that certain infections can be very serious and lead to complications, including death. Bites on the hands or feet carry a higher risk of infection. 62-year-old Pauline Day, the sister of Harris, described oversized murder or Oreo as a big softy and a teddy bear. And then they show a picture of its ass and its tail. Less than six weeks after Harris brought oversized murder Oreo home, however, the dog bit its owner on the arm. Harris had reportedly been trying to retrieve an animal bone from Ted's mouth at the time of the incident. Soon after the bite became swollen, swollen and he developed cold sweats. Three days later, Harris died from cardiac arrest caused by the infection. The family's nightmare continued about a month later. When on the day of Harris's August funeral, Ted, that's oh, oversized murder Oreo, who names the dog Ted, bit the hand of Day's husband, Mark. The next morning, he awoke with legs like blocks of ice. In the following days, he came down with a 102 degree fever and was taken to a hospital. There, he went into cardiac arrest and multiple organ failure. Doctors confirmed Mark's severe illness was 100% caused by a bacterial infection originating from the dog bite. When Day learned of Ted's, God, who names? I keep thinking it's a human name. Connection to her husband's condition, she had the dog euthanized. There's a little hope on the planet. 
Oh, really? This dog's done killed my brother and my, you know what? It's time to kill him. Mark, meanwhile, was reportedly been in the hospital since August. He's already had his left hand fingers amputated and will lose both of his legs next week. The day is since the day, which is the name of the article, has since looked into Ted's paperwork originally provided by the private seller and discovered the dog had not been vaccinated. They gave him a false history. Even if he was, they can still spread this. I'm so sick of hearing that. Notably, the bites were not particularly severe on their own. Giant, oversized murder Oreo literally broke the skin on my husband and brother who described the incidences as the incidents as the dog merely nipping them. It's like something out of a nightmare. You just don't believe this could happen. The shock of my brother was one thing. Then my husband, it's just surreal. It was the softest dog, but it had food issues. Whenever it was near food, it was so aggressive. We think it was mistreated as a puppy. And even though she had the thing put down and it attacked two of her male, closest male family members, she still feels like she needs to defend it. Okay. Oh, I seen that too. Asher, ban all dogs. What the fuck, right? Mindful madness. In my experience from working in a pet store, most people tend to buy the cheapest and worst quality food. The garbage food is banned. I bet pet ownership would drop drastically. Also, you know, mindful madness, another idea I had. If you force these people to professionally have the poop taken away. So you don't just get to let your dog shit in your yard or wherever else anymore. You have to pay someone to come and take the feces away professionally. If people actually had to be responsible for these things. Oh, Twiggy, we covered the marrying your dog thing. I think it was the last live stream and I almost lost my mind. I was just putting hair ties in my hair and losing my fucking shit. In fact, let's cover this. And as Alisade said, yes, the pet food industry is huge. Okay, so let's just, whew, let's do the other marrying your dog article, shall we? Let's just do it. Where is it? I'm all, where is it? Mm, I know it's in here. Mm, it hurts my brain. So I was pretty disappointed with a certain page on Facebook. Remember me talking about that old lady, Rosie, that was attacked by a family member's dog and she finally woke up in the hospital the other day. Uh, no, the admins on Facebook were all like, you can't encourage them to give you the GoFundMe link. And I'm like, well, they already did. And they're like, yeah, we're taking everything down. None of us got money for our dog attacks. This is an emotional support site. And I was like, you're going to take it down. And they were like, yes. I was like the whole post. And they were like, yes. And I was like, okay, you know, maybe I'm the only person who fucking thinks about community and is sitting back going like, no, let's, let's help each other. Let's work in a community sense. And no, I got to remember that not everybody thinks the way that I do, you know, I think I found it. Maybe. Yep. This is a short one. Uh, during a British daytime television show called This Morning, 49-year-old Elizabeth Hoad stunned viewers by tying the knot with Logan, her golden retriever, and she's making out with it. Elizabeth Hoad got married to her dog Logan on the live TV show, Where Are My Cigarettes?, Hoad, who appeared on the show earlier, said that she didn't need a man and wanted to spend the rest of her life with her dog. Further adding, she has previously struggled with love and even went on over 200 dates. Well, a dog won't have to worry about her putting out now, will it? Come on, that was funny. Finally, she decided to stop going on dates and choose a four-legged life partner. I hate everything. I'm all, I do. I can't. Oh, God. And here's this. It's so sad. Heartbroken mother warns against aggressive dogs. But there's never a Shut up. After losing her child in an attack. This was Knoxville, Tennessee. Authorities were called to a home along... Apache Lane, October 19th, after reports of a dog attack. 
dog attacked and killed an infant and injured the child's grandmother, according to officials with the Sevier County Sheriff's Office. The mother, Tiffany Parker, said seven-month-old Bentley was visiting his grandmother while she was moving into a home a block away. She eventually heard a commotion coming from near her mother's home and rushed over to check on her son. Investigators told her that the family dog, a St. Bernard, attacked her mother and killed her son. Parker said the dog typically stayed outside when the baby was visiting. He was so innocent. I know he wouldn't have been able to fight for himself. And I know my mother did all that she could. The baby was so precious. He was so full of life. He brightened every heart that he came across. While trying to cope with never hearing her baby call out her name or take his first steps, she said that she's thinking of other parents and believes her, messages can sa her message can save other children. If you have any doubt about an animal, please just get rid of the dog. You wouldn't expect it to happen, but it does. The Sevier County Sheriff's Office is investigating the incident and reported the dog got so aggressive with first responders, it was put down immediately on the scene. And here it says, which dogs are most dangerous? Ohio State researchers compared how likely it is for a dog to bite. And with the severity of the bite, they found pit bull terriers and mixed breeds pose the highest risk for children. The CDC says most dogs are dog bites are in children between five and nine years old. Young children are most vulnerable because they don't notice the subtle signs that a dog may bite. Got to tiptoe around these things. What was it Asher said? If the wind blows, if, if you fart sideways, if you look, if you... Uh, oh, the hand gesture. We all know that's what was going on in that dog marriage. You're welcome. I'm not with it all today. Oh, my God. How could you be with it? You get to reading all this stuff. And you know what's scary about all this? This isn't even... I've got so many more emails. And I haven't even gotten near any of them. It's frightening. Here's one from Billy Bob, since Billy Bob's here. Oh, and uh, actually, this might be the same story. Like I said, I get so many of these. Let's see. Um, if it is, it's a different version of it. I got to shut this up. Hold on. There we go. Yeah, six month old was found dead by authorities after being attacked by the family dog. Uh, nope, it's a different story. Both from Tennessee. Baby wasn't breathing due to an attack by the family dog. Maybe it is the same one. Upon arrival, emergency responders found the infant dead and another person injured who lived there. Pretty sure they said both people died. So, resident was injured trying to protect the child. The large dog came, became aggressive and was put down. Okay, same story. So, that was sent by Billy Bob, as I said. So, thank you, Billy Bob, for that. It's a lot better than more stories about dogs getting married to people. I can't take it anymore. I'm all, I can't take it anymore. Here's something fucked up for you. And I can't remember if I have comedy for this one. This came as October 19, 2021. Brace yourselves. This is fucked up. <clears throat> Official. Child at New Haven School is bitten by a wandering pit bull during recess. When, when are we going to have enough of this? Student attending Lincoln, Lincoln Bassett School was hospitalized Tuesday after being bitten by a wandering pit bull during recess. Justin Harmon, director of marketing and communications for the district, said in an email the incident occurred in the morning while first grade students were outdoors at recess. The pit bull came onto the property and began chasing children. Staff responded by getting children indoors or out of the dog's reach on the gym equipment. Unfortunately, one child was bitten and transported to hospital for treatment. Two others were treated on scene for scratches. Parents of the injured student school social worker and psychologist met with first grade students to help them process the experience. Going forward, we'll conduct their research recess inside the enclosed playground on the school property. Student safety is our highest priority. We are grateful for the assistance of the police and paramedics. Just change every aspect of our lives for these dogs. Not, it's never going to, their answer is never going to be, should we get rid of these things? You know, no, it's just going to be, oh, well, now the children need to be in a smaller area and closed. It's not, should we get rid of these dogs? Uh, 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 uh. Thank you for the petition, Asher. Beanie, if you'd like to put up the ad for Mountain Rose Herbs, I'll pin it and I'll push that. We've got till the end of the month to get rid of some more stuff. 
and it's been going well, and they're very pleased. And if we keep up the good work, I do have a comedy one. I forgot. Cool. I was hoping. Um, okay, so here that Beanie just put up. Oh, and I always go to the link on accident because I'm a dumbass. The link that Beanie just put up is for the Mountain Rose Herbs. I can't get to it properly, so fuck it. Uh, we've got one more story before the comedy comes. Or I could just go like this again because it makes Alasade very happy. <laughs> oh, here we go. Hey, please. Thank you, Joseph. Uh, J Red, please, if you use that link that Beanie just put up, they support the channel. It helps William and I as well. And uh, please, they got high grade apothecary oil oils. Great place to go to. Teas, herbs, spices. Definitely request uh, a catalog from them. Yes, your elderberry, elderberry sample. Joseph, I will send to you as soon as I get a chance. But like I said, it's going to take me a while uh, because I am swamped. So let's do this one. And then we will hop into... You're on your lunch break. Nice. Then we will hop into our comedy and cut this short for the night. I wanted to burn through some of these emails and we will have an extra long fuck fluffy Fridays at five. I'm getting better and better at saying it um, because I have so many stories to go over. And we all know between today, when I get done with this and up until Friday at five, I'll get another 27 emails. October 16th, 2021, three children injured in a dog attack in Southeast DC. Did we cover this one? We did. Hey, you know, I'm getting good at this. They used to all bleed together, but I have a pretty good, um, pretty good mind for this kind of stuff. So let's go way back up to the top here. It's another story about the dogs chasing people. My God. Ah, we'll cover this one. Then we'll do our comedy. And then we will all just relax for the night. Because this one's pretty rough too. So we'll need the comedy. Horrific dog attack leaves mom and daughter covered in blood. I was covered in blood. My daughter was covered in blood. A direct quote as of October 19th of 2021. Family pet was grabbed around the throat, back, and legs by a humongous dog during an attack that lasted about 15 minutes. Michelle Borkin, oh, my volume is rather low. Michelle Borkin said this horrific incident left her and her six-year-old daughter covered in blood. The 39-year-old mom was out, of her, out with her Yorkshire Terrier Bella and puppy Harley when a dog, she believes to be an American pit bull, came racing toward the group off of its lead. A man could then be heard screaming, stop, stop, get back here. The incident happened on the River Irwell in Bury around 4 p.m. on Saturday, October 16th. Michelle told the group that it came from around the river bend. It was quite far away, and I remember thinking, bloody hell, it's big. This man was screaming, stop, stop, get back here. Then the man started running after it, and he slipped. The dog slowed down and started creeping toward us. Then it just flew at us. One reflection I don't know, if it was going for me or my daughter or the pup or just anybody it could get to, but it got the tiny dog, Bella is its name, and it wasn't letting go. It was horrific. Michelle says the dog grabbed Bella around the throat, back, and legs during an attack that lasted roughly 15 minutes. The owner was punching the dog in the head in an effort to get it to release its grip without success. The attack only ended when the dog went for Bella's legs and Michelle managed to pull her free. It has left a much-loved family pet with severe injuries requiring emergency treatment at the vets. Michelle says the dog's owner left the scene despite the fact that she was in need of help. I was covered in blood. My daughter was covered in blood. Why wouldn't you stay? Well, Michelle, I've got news for you. We read this all the time. They always take off. My daughter said, Mom, I rolled myself in a ball and covered myself with a t-shirt over my head. She just couldn't watch. Bella, the little dog, was in intense care on Saturday night needing surgery for puncture wounds. The dog actually survived. Michelle has reported the incident to Greater Manchester Police, but was told that because the dog attacked another animal, 
it will not be treated as a criminal offense. We've heard this story before. In a message, police told her, thank you for your report. And I'm sorry you had to go through that. Unfortunately, dog versus dog attacks are not considered a crime in UK at this present time. However, I asked the neighborhood policing team to have a look into this due to the owners not having the dog on a leash in a public place where children may be. In the meantime, Michelle is appealing for help with the vet bills, which should total over 2,000 pounds. Writing on the Just Giving page, it's like a GoFundMe, she said, I'm absolutely distraught. I'm a single parent and I don't have a way of paying this bill. If anyone can spare anything, please help. So there's that. All right. Let's get into our comedy. Let's call it a fucking day. Um, I'm done. And I need to get my son ready for bed. Where is my comedy story? I know I just seen it. Here it is. <laughs> some of these comedies and some. Some of them and some of them. <laughs> it's... Swan kills dog with its wings as park in park as owner watches in horror as the bird beat down on it. <laughs> Before we get too far ahead of ourselves, I, I've seen a story about a swan that killed a man today. Um, you know, so let's do this. <laughs> a dog owner watched helplessly as a swan attacked and killed his dog in a park in Dublin, uh, Ireland. On Sunday, a cocker spaniel with her owner rode a duck pond in the bushy park when an adult swan flew from the water toward the pet who was swimming near the birds. The swan latched onto the dog and beat down on it with one wing and then another. And as stated by an onlooker who witnessed the incident as he was feeding the ducks at the other end of the pond. Can you imagine standing over there feeding the ducks and you're looking down and watching this cocker spaniel get its ass kicked by this swan? I'm sorry. We started screaming at the swan trying to distract it, he told the Irish Times. However, the swan quickly struck the dog to death. Okay. Three or four more slaps and she was gone, the man said. The witness also added the dog's owner was distraught about seeing the pet killed, which took just several seconds to occur. He even dropped his phone into the pond upon seeing the attack. That's it, I'm getting swan. They need to put up signs telling people to keep their dogs on leash around the pond. Well, that's what you're supposed to do. And the witness says the swan was just protecting its signets. Okay. Um... <laughs> Dublin City Council Park Ranger arrived just after the incident, which occurred around 11 a.m., and retrieved the dog's body uh, and used a small paddle boat and a net to get it. I've never heard of anything like this happening before, he said. Bushy Park is located uh, in Tiranair, Tiranair, excuse me, my, I'm going to butcher that, I'm an American, and it is approximately 51 acres wide. Park is open to visitors for a multitude of act activities thanks to its football fields and 11 tennis courts, which are typically used by sporting clubs and groups in the area. Hardy fucking har har. That's funny as hell. I don't care what anybody says. And Swan kicked that dog's ass. Uh, there was no video that I seen. I wish. Um, yeah, no. I respect animals, not dogs. I'm the same way, ban all dogs. I respect all animals other than a dog. Uh, like I said, I know everybody has their mixed emotions about some people have arachnophobia and some people don't like cats and some people don't like snakes and this and that. I am totally cool with all animals, even wild dogs, not domesticated dogs. That's just me. <laughs> Hashtag ghost swan beat that dog's ass up. <laughs> All right, guys, we're going to wrap this up. Uh, dogs just aren't animals. Exactly, Twiggy. Exactly. They're not. They're mutations. People need to understand that. And, you know, that's when they're like, oh, it's an animal charity or they were protecting animals or they're an animal lover. You're talking about dogs. Knock it off with the animal thing. Just say dogs. We get it. These same people that claim to be animal lovers will let their dogs kill rabbits, squirrels, birds, Cats, swan, there's been, we just did an article the other day about a swan, actually, um, what was it, the one swan got killed by a dog, it was a mating pair, and then the father raised the signets all by himself, and then he got hurt by a dog, and they had to take the swan to the vet and fix him and bring him back, I mean, okay, well guys, fuck Fluffy, nice short live stream tonight, keep it simple, uh, I'm gonna save everything for, um, 
She says, I hope nobody has woolly phobia. <laughs> We're going to save the rest of this for Puck Fluffy Fridays at 5. I have a little bit more work this week, and I'll be all freshened up. And I have these dark circles under my eyes, and I'm tired. But my eyebrows are growing in very well. It's about time. It was all crazy. So thank you, everyone. Um, nice short stream. Everybody get ready for Fuck Fluffy Fridays at 5. Let's have a nice night. Everybody enjoy yourselves, protect yourselves, get your steel toe boots, do what you got to do. Thank you for the likes. Please purchase from Mountain Rose Herbs. Please sign the petition if you haven't. Share it with anybody you know that will sign it. We need that. Thank you to the mods. Thank you to Billy Bob. Thank you to all of you that help. Thank you, T-Dog. Thank you, everybody. Please order Mountain Rose Herbs is paying extra this month, which enhances and helps the channel because bitches... I got to pay these bills. Someone has to pay for the phone and the computer to do this crap. Twiki, you're a nice stream. I love having you and I love seeing you here every time. Love y'all so much. Thank you all so much from the bottom of my dog hating heart. I appreciate every single one of you and I'll see you on Friday. Uh, well, in case nothing serious happens, you know, by tomorrow, then I'll do a pop-up live stream. But until then, much love. Hearts for days. You guys be good.